what are the three beverages that are unquestionably healthy for you? There's no real controversy in them. Dr. William Lee, renowned scientist, physician, and author who has dedicated his life to unlocking the body's natural power to heal itself. And what if I told you that the power to repair and rejuvenate your body is as close as your morning cup? That's right. In this video, we're talking about three incredible drinks that can actually boost your body's natural stem cell regeneration, healing you from the inside out. Stem cells are like the body's own repair team, going where they're needed, transforming into whatever cells your body requires to heal. But as we age, our body's natural stem cell activity decreases. Imagine giving that process a powerful boost using nothing more than nutrient-rich, carefully crafted drinks. So, grab a notepad, because these drinks, inspired by Dr. William Lee's groundbreaking research, might just change your health and wellness journey forever. In my book, in the part about food, I take people on, I take my reader on a tour through the grocery store, including to the beverage section. And th literally the way I do this is actually, I invite you to jump into my shopping cart, like you would have when you were a kid in your mom's shopping cart, get pushed through and I kind of narrate all the things through it. So the beverage section in the grocery store is a pretty confusing section because it's in the middle aisles and there are endless sea of juices and sodas and bottled waters that are there. And so I try to br bring a little bit of clarity to, you know, what are the three beverages that are unquestionably healthy f for you? There's no real controversy in them, all right? Because other drinks like juices and sodas, lots of controversy, lots of data. But the three things I call the holy trinity of beverages um, are water. Number one, water. Water actually uh, is critical for hydration, critical to maintain our health defenses, critical for our metabolism. You need water in the system, okay? Uh, and drinking water is something that is very natural and, and important to us. Uh, and when, again, when you drink cool water, you activate these uh, temperature gauges in our stomach that are triggering our metabolism to kind of warm up uh, the water in our stomach so we don't cool our core body temperature. So there's even metabolic benefits uh, to drinking water. Water is also by satiating. So when you actually drink water with a meal, you're naturally stretching out your stomach a little bit. And rather than actually having food in there, that water stretch actually basically slows down your appetite, slows down your hunger as well, which also helps to contribute to preventing you from overeating as well. So water is really good for you. There's no, you know, like it's a, it's a human right to drink water. <laughs> you know, we, we have to drink water. It's really great. Water is a simple yet powerful ally for your health, especially when it comes to supporting stem cell regeneration and healing. Stem cells are the body's natural repair system, responsible for regenerating tissue and maintaining overall vitality. However, they need a well-hydrated environment to perform optimally. When you're adequately hydrated, water delivers oxygen and essential nutrients to your cells, nourishing and energizing them for efficient repair and regeneration. You know, bottled water, which is so commonly consumed, probably will have microplastics in it, almost certainly does. And you know, even though the research doesn't, hasn't clearly nailed what the harm of microplastics are, I would say it's probably not so good for you. We can find it like attached to a red blood cell circulating in our blood. That's, that freaks me out, actually, to think about that. So if you can drink water, if you can, if you can drink water from a source other than bottled water, it's probably preferable. Get a filter at home. Hydration also plays a crucial role in detoxification. Every day, our bodies encounter toxins from food, air, and stress, which can interfere with cellular health and slow down stem cell activity. Drinking enough water acts as a natural cleanser, flushing these toxins out, allowing your cells to function in a healthier, toxin-free environment. Another key benefit of hydration is its anti-inflammatory effect. Chronic inflammation can hinder stem cell performance and slow down the body's healing processes. Water helps maintain an anti-inflammatory balance creating an ideal environment for stem cells to work efficiently and regenerate tissue without interference. I don't want to be uh, all all that. accumulating these microplastics, uh, but the water is really, really good beverage. Number two, tea. For second is tea. We talked a little bit about green tea um, as being beneficial to you. Um, and, you know, tea is the second most popular beverage in the world after drinking water. Uh, so we're talking about something that a lot of people have a lot of experience with. But, I, but what I point out in my book is not just green tea. It's different kinds of green tea. Matcha tea is actually good for you. Oolong tea, which is slightly fermented green tea, also has metabolic benefits, 
also has polyphenols. And then for green tea, if you have matcha, you know, which you find in a ceremonial tea, you find in a Japanese restaurant, it's bright green tea. It, it's kind of opaque because it's actually made with powder and it's the entire tea leaf that's powdered. A lot of people don't realize this, but matcha is super packed with polyphenols. You know why? Matcha is grown in a very particular way. 28 days before they pick the the big the, the tea leaf from to make matcha, they put it under shade. They put they they basically cover it with a canopy, and the, and the shade is there. So the tea, in response to the tea leaf, tea plant, in response to shade, actually wants to make more polyphenols. So they make anywhere from 30 to 300 times more polyphenols mm -hmm. under the shade. All right, and then what happens when you pick the leaf, you cut off the stem, and then they powder, they dry and powder the entire leaf. And so that's why you have so much more polyphenol. Tea is a diverse and powerful drink that offers unique health benefits, especially for supporting cellular health and aiding in the body's natural regeneration processes. First, green tea is packed with antioxidants, particularly epigallocatechin gallate, which supports stem cell health by reducing cellular damage and inflammation. Just one to two cups a day can help maintain healthy cells, support metabolism, and even boost energy. Now let's talk about black tea. Black tea known for its rich flavor and higher caffeine content, black tea contains theoflavins, which help reduce inflammation and improve blood flow. Improved circulation means more oxygen and nutrients reach your cells, enhancing their ability to regenerate. More, rather than having it in a tea bag or loose tea leaves, you actually powder the entire leaf. So you're getting the entire leaf, including all the polyphenols. So you drink all the polyphenols, which is why you get 30 to 300 times more than just dunking a tea bag you also get the dietary fiber. Good for your gut microbiome. So matcha tea actually is quite amazing. Actually done a study to show that uh, that uh, matcha tea extracts can kill breast cancer stem cells. Wow. I'm, I'm always amazed by that because look, as somebody who's been involved with biotech development um, and in cancer treatment development, finding something that could kill stem cells, cancer stem cells, like breast cancer stem cells, which is what makes cancers come back, is a holy grail. We don't have a drug for it, but here, matcha tea actually been shown in the lab to actually be able to do that to me is actually really jaw dropping. Matcha. This powdered green tea provides a concentrated dose of antioxidants, including chlorophyll, which helps detoxify and energize cells. Matcha is particularly popular for boosting focus and promoting cellular health with sustained energy. This supports cell function and energizes stem cells for optimal healing. The oolong tea, which is slightly fermented, also good for your metabolism. You can lose your waist, you can shrink your waist size, your waist circumference, lose body for long tea. This partially fermented tea offers benefits between green and black teas, aiding in fat metabolism and promoting heart health. Oolong teas polyphenols support healthy blood sugar levels and assist in reducing inflammation, which can aid overall cellular function. So again, you know, tea is the second part of the holy trick. Number three, coffee. Third, um, which I always drink, coffee has chlorogenic acid and many other polyphenols, but the chlorogenic acid not only boosts your health defenses, um, uh, but it also triggers your metabolism, stimulates your metabolism from going as well. A little bit of the caffeine, which I'm able to tolerate. Not everybody can tolerate caffeine, um, but I'm able to tolerate the caffeine. Caffeine also stimulates not only your kind of like your brain, but also stimulates your metabolism as well. And now let's talk about something we all know and love coffee. But coffee isn't just about getting that morning kick. It turns out that coffee is loaded with antioxidants, including powerful compounds like chlorogenic acid, which can play a role in protecting and supporting our body's cells. Recent research suggests that the antioxidants in coffee help reduce oxidative stress, a factor that can damage cells over time and even limit stem cell function. Less stress on your cells means they can focus on regeneration and repair, potentially boosting your stem cell health over time. I'm not encouraging people to go after caffeine. I'm just saying that coffee is one of the, the, the third of the Holy Trinity, coffee, tea, uh, and water that actually is really, really healthy. Dr. William Lai's work teaches us that our body is capable of incredible self-healing. When we nourish ourselves properly, we're harnessing this amazing power within. So, which drink will you start with? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more insights into harnessing your body's natural abilities. Here's to your health and healing one sip at a time.